What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Yakuza Fan Podcast, episode 24 for February 15th, 2017. I'm Deacon, and this is my co-host, Cal. It is. And this is the second time we've introduced this podcast, because Cal doesn't know how to set up audio recording equipment. No, 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 no. Don't even go there. You were the one who set it up wrong. Look I was these, the one. Look at these levels. I was you the don't one, even know how to record with audio recording. I was the one who equipment. noticed that you messed it up. And I didn't mess up anything. You messed it up. Cal. This is all on you. Okay. I'm willing to take that hit. Cal, I think we should start off as we do every week. Okay. With what have you been playing this week? Oh, I have an answer this time. Finally. This is great, guys. I have an actual answer to this. First of all, I was playing the greatest music rhythm game of all time. Guitar Man. That is a great game. On the PSP. I was in the middle of giving my fake answer, but you're right. Guitar Man is the best music rhythm game. It is so good. It's, I would say it's kind of tied between like Rock Band 2 and Guitar Man, but Guitar Man for a a narrative-driven music rhythm game. Yes. Yeah, the okay, best. there are better music rhythm games, but Guitar Man is a, f- a good game, and it's different than a lot of other rhythm games. Um, so one of my kids was playing it, and I yeah. decided that they couldn't play it anymore. It was my turn. <laughs> now uh, I play Guitar the Man. Only, okay, the only reason the kids were playing it is because I was playing it, and then my PSP got stolen, and then you stole the PSP. Uh, <laughs> so, what the hell? I, I, I You can't like, even finish Guitar Man. You suck at it. I can too. I finished it once. On, on easy? No, on normal. Really? Yeah. So anyway, I beat the whole game on normal. This is back I'm, when I was good at games. I'm going back. That was never a time. Uh-huh. I'm going back through it on hard now. I've actually finished this game completely before on my PSP years ago when I used to play PSP a lot. But I decided it was time to do it again. So It's a really good game. It, it holds is. up. And you know what else surprisingly holds up? The PSP. Yeah. The that PSP is, is a good system. That is a good system. Except for it's really horrible battery life. The battery life is bad. I forgot how bad it was. I really like the analog knob. I'm, I'm okay with it. I, I liked it better before mine broke twice. Yes. But, I mean, my one's held up. It works really well. I, I know, man. I, I, I'm i having a little PSP renaissance in my house. <laughs> I don't I, like the nub. Oh, I don't mind it at I all. had a third-party, like, attachment for it to, like, make, raise it up and make it more like an analog stick. And I was playing uh, Zen... So the Sudoku? Zendoku, was it called? Or... Zendoku, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, it was, like, the action Sudoku game. And there was one where you had to spin the stick, and it cracked... The it messed up the insides of the whole analog stick, so I had to get the whole thing replaced. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh okay. So that that's my PSP complaint. Okay, have you been playing anything else? Yes. So two games in one week. Who I are know you? this is crazy. I don't even know you anymore. Story time again. So several months ago, back in October, my PlayStation Plus auto renewed, and I didn't want to auto renew it because PlayStation Plus is crap. No, it's not. But I don't need it because you have it and I just moved off yours. Pretty so much. anyway, I didn't want to have a second. They raised the price and it just I didn't want it. So I emailed Sony right away and said, look, I, I didn't want to renew this. I made a mistake. I forgot to cancel it. You know, can you, is there any chance that we can refund it? And they said, it's not a problem. You know, we'll make an exception for you. You know, there's stupid spiel that they always give when they refund something because they don't usually do it. Sony's usually pretty good, though. They I, are. I find in Canada, mm-hmm. Sony is really good about giving refunds. So they were totally cool with refunding it. Yeah. And all was well. They said it might take two to three months to appear on your bank statement. So I'm like, okay, well, that's a while, but whatever. It's fine. So I waited two or three months. Check nothing there. So I went in to, back to support. And I said, hey, where's my refund? And the yeah. support guy was like... Well, your refund was refunded into your wallet. And I'm like, well, that's not what I said to do. And they're like, well, we can't do anything now. And they disconnect it from me. Yeah. On the chat. So I'm like, well, fuck you. So I called them. The yeah. guy was totally cool. He said he'd put it through. All was well. Yeah. I was happy. No big deal. Just a little bit more time had passed. It sucks, but whatever. Yeah. I got an email the other day that they couldn't, they wouldn't do it. it. Your refund request was denied. That's insane. I have no idea why. The money is still there. It's not a small amount of money. No, it's like a sixty dollar plus. Uh, yeah, I think trip, there's right? sixty or seventy dollars in there yeah. in my wallet, like yeah. sixty nine ninety nine. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I'm you like, you should have bought me Neo. What no, the fuck? No, I'm not buying you Neo. You mean Neo? Neo. <laughs> so anyway, finally, I'm like, fuck it. I just don't care anymore. Like, I don't have the time to deal with this. This, and it's not worth your sixty dollars. Well, time. it's just at what point do I have to call it quits and give up? It's been five months or four months since this happened. Yeah. What am I? What What can you do when? at this point? Yeah. yeah. 
Like, so I, anyway, so I bought Stardew Valley, okay. which is $20. Now, I, I went back to our uh, our podcast last week to get, to re- to refresh my memory on where we yeah. got up to on the games of a generation. Yes. One of the very last things you said on the podcast was, I'm going to buy Stardew Valley. <laughs> so the prophecy came true. <laughs> I've been meaning, I've been wanting to buy it for a while. So it's not like that was uh, completely out of left field. Yeah. Even last week. Okay, so anyway, now. I have Stardew Valley on Steam. I know, so do and I. And you have access to my Steam account. Yes. Why not just play it on because Steam? Because I like to sit on the couch. Okay, why like, not just haul your computer? Yeah, I'll haul my computer the all the way upstairs and yeah. have the uh, twins push the buttons on it. And the, no. Oh, yeah. I like the controller. I, li- I was playing it on a laptop plugged into the TV, but that died. So I, I like the controller. I like the couch. I like just that access to the PlayStation. It's convenient. It's a lot of convenience here, and also trophies. You will you will pay for convenience. I will. I totally. If will. it makes your life slightly easier, you will pay. Well, the money I'm for always it. upstairs, so I don't really have time. I, I can't really come downstairs and play it on the PC. Yeah. And also, then I get my PS4 controller instead of the stupid Xbox now we, controller. Now we do have a spare PC upstairs you could have used. Yeah, but the kids are always using that. Ugh. I just I wanted it on my PlayStation. Okay. No, it's fine. You know what? If it were up to me, I'd own a copy of it as well. But Why? I'm waiting you don't for... even play it. I know. That's because I'm crazy. I will point you to my Steam library of 800 games that, I, I, that I don't play. But to be fair, I didn't buy it on the PC. We were given that for free. We were gifted So this that. is the first time that I've been able to you know, actually buy it. And it's a game I love. So I guess it's going to the It developers. is the best version of Harvest Moon. Well, I wouldn't go no, that far. Oh, no, you're right. You know what? Neither would I. The best version of Harvest Moon is Riga Guriku Ishin. That is the best version of Harvest Moon. <laughs> No, it's only I'm having fun. That's foreshadowing, boys and girls. I decided I am going to uh, marry Shane, and that's where we are right now. Okay, that's fair. Is that it? Is that all you played this week? Guitar Man and Stardew Valley? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, because, you know, work yeah. and stuff. Yeah, work and life and whatnot. Um, I've been... Uh, I'm just going to take the reins now. I've been playing almost nothing this week. I played some Guitar Man. Yeah. I played some more... Um, What's it called? Uh, Trails of Cold Steel. Oh, um, man. Which has the most anime opening. Oh. So I, I, don't, I don't know whether I touched on this last week, but I, I'm playing this game. It is extraordinarily anime. I've only just beat like the first dungeon and got to the title screen. I'm so over hearing about this game. I was sitting at my kid's dance class right in the middle of like, all these hot ballerina babes. And... The title screen kicks into gear and I've got my headphones on listening to a podcast so I didn't realize that my sound was coming out of my Vita. So oh, it, how bre- embarrassing. it breaks into the loudest Japanese pop song in the <laughs> middle of this crowd of people. And I'm there. I'm just oblivious to this because I'm sitting here listening to God knows what, Smodcast or you know any other better podcast than this. And every, I, I see everybody turning to look at me. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> idiot so I, for- I take out my headphones so like, oh. did you have the music going like this whole time the, on the, the, game? the first dungeon is very very quiet like okay. there's almost no music like there's a little bit of a uh, spoken word but overall the but music. why would you have your sound on if you had headphones? because because I, I had my headphones plugged into uh, for a little bit for the cutscene but then when the cutscene stopped i didn't bother to plug them back in for the title song because i didn't give a shit Mm. I wanted to watch the OP, but I didn't really care about listening to it at all. And so, did you not consider that there might be sound? I did, but I considered also that I wasn't hearing it, so it wasn't happening. <laughs> so anyway, Sometimes I wonder about you. I'm, I'm a very strange person. I understand this. So anyway, I'm getting the looks from all the cute ballerinas, and I'm sitting here oblivious, watching my uh, Japanese pop song. Oh my god, <laughs> it was great. That game is so good. Uh, I'm not very much further into it. I'm kind of exploring the school, getting getting a feel for where everything is. Telling me about it. Oh, constantly. It's great. Uh, I played a little bit more Binding of Isaac. That game's still good. Very hard. Um, we played a little bit of the Dreamcast. I, I, I was tweeting out earlier this week, uh, my new aesthetic is a Hello Kitty Dreamcast and a copy of Shenmue. Yeah. I have not actually sat down and played <laughs> Shenmue yet. I, I was going to play it, but I'm like... Well, I could play Shenmue now, but the second I'm going to do it, they're going to announce Shenmue HD. Yeah. And if I'm going to play it anyway, I should probably just record it. Yeah, we should do it for the uh, yeah, Patreon. Yeah, so like that, that's doing. what I'm thinking. Like, after we're done with Yakuza 1, yeah. I think we should do a playthrough of Shenmue. Okay. Just, and then we can kind of look at it and see what was inspired in Yakuza 1 mm-hmm. from Shenmue. And I think that would be really interesting. So, if you're a backer, you're getting access to that. 
in the future. Yeah. Please, please be excited. Yeah. <laughs> 2018 will be a fantastic <laughs> 2018 year. 2018's going to be lit. Yeah, 2018 will be a great year. Yakuza 6 and Shenmue 1. <laughs> okay, and what else have I been playing? Um, I've had Parappa the Rapper sitting in my PlayStation uh, shopping cart for the last week, but I can't bring myself to pull the trigger. <laughs> It's like 15 bucks. Oh, that's steep. It's really steep, but it is finally down from the 30 bucks that it was for nearly five years. Yeah, but is this the um, HD version? Like, no, 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 this is the PSP version. Oh, well, no, we'll get the But HD I want to play it on my Vita, but that's just it. The HD version's coming out, but I don't know if the HD version is going to have the extra songs that they made, or the remix songs they made You're for just the gonna have PSP to wait. version. You're just going to have to wait. Oh, it's killing me. Uh, so... That, that's kind of a, I guess, tangential story because I didn't actually play yeah. that. I thought about playing that <laughs> super hard. Um, I listened to the entire soundtrack. I, the, the, I was driving my kids somewhere, I can't remember, and I'm like, hey, you guys want to listen to an awesome soundtrack? And they're like, oh, yeah, sure. And so I put on the Parappa the Rapper soundtrack. And currently, my daughter knows all the words to the, um, the Chicken in the Kitchen. <laughs> I know. I, I, too. Yeah, me too, but like. That's the best song. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. Uh, Chop Chop Master Onion is the best song. No, I like and chicken. and followed by I Gotta Believe and then Chicken in the Kitchen. No, Chicken in the Kitchen is my favorite. Mostly because I sing it like every time I'm cooking. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, every single time I need to mix anything. Yeah, I have crack, to, crack, crack the eggs. Uh, anytime I have to mix the flour into the bowl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, okay, so I also played a little bit of Riga Goku One and Two HD. Holy crap, those make the PlayStation 2 games, like, completely worthless. Yeah, they really They're do. so much better. That, that, I was telling you about this, that may be the best HD version of a game, mm-hmm. besides maybe the Shadow of the Colossus collection, Yeah, I have ever seen. It is 60 frames a second, everything is super crisp. That, uh, that they've gone in and they've added to it. Like if you go into a restaurant and you're trying to get the police, the completion list done, yeah, it'll put a little check mark next to the stuff you've eaten, stuff like that. Oh, it, that's nice. There's little quality of life changes, so yeah. it's not just a remaster. Like, sorry, it's not just a an HDified version. They've gone in and remastered it a little bit. Yeah, I believe your exact quote was. Now I see why people were so mad. This isn't coming out. Uh, I mean, I I've known for a while why yeah, people. Yeah, but now it, it, until you experience something, the more you it's play, it, the more sympathize. obvious it becomes. Uh, especially because we're sitting there playing Yakuza 1 for the yeah. backers, and then I go into the HD version. Which, the only reason I'm in the HD version is because I'm working on this new uh, Forging the Dragon, and I wanted some really nice footage. Yeah. And I've discovered playing the P- trying to capture PS2 game footage is bullshit. Yes, it is. No one should ever do that anymore, and that everything should be released in HD. Or, I need to invest in one of those 60 gigabyte PS3s that can do classic uh, PS2 games. I don't think any of them even work anymore. I don't think they do either. Okay. I wonder how much you'd be able to get one for now, this. We could just get ours fixed. Um, I hear that even if you fix it, it only lasts for a little bit, and then it's gone again. I don't think so. you can get them anywhere. Like I said, most of them are dead. They were faulty and defective to begin yeah, with. Yeah, there's a lot of systems like that. You know what? At least it's not yeah, Xbox 360. Yeah, the first-gen Xbox 360s are awful. But I, how many 360s did we go through? Three or four. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Like we, we you know, very, oh, I will say credit where credits due with Microsoft. They do, they they did pay to get them fixed. Yeah, they extended the. They warranty. They, they extended that warranty for like an extra. But we like did two end years. up having to buy a second one at some point. Yes, we got the the slimmer version. Yeah. Uh, the very first Xbox 360s. Yeah. Um, I want to hook that back up. There, there's some games in the arcade. I've been 360. Yeah. Not, oh yeah, you stole my TV, right? Uh, no? no, it's upstairs. Yeah, it's upstairs. Yeah, we were it's, playing. It's just not plugged in. Yeah. I, I, God, I love Outrun. Uh, okay. Back to the point of the uh, conversation. Oh, yeah, the PS3 is in there. Okay. Uh, what else? What you else? You haven't played anything. You suck. I guess I really haven't. Like, We played a card game. We did. That, that's been the highlight of my week, has been trying to play that card game. We played it twice. Yeah. It was even better the second time. It was much better with the rules being followed. We didn't even finish our game. <laughs> I know we didn't, but what are you going to do? Uh, it's a long game. Yeah. But like Even with just two people, that takes a surprising amount of time to get through. Yeah, so don't forget to go check out our backer shout-out video. Yep. It, we're showing off a little bit of this card game that he made for... It's the 8-Bit Gangster kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, conversion. Yeah, 8-Bit Gangster Total Conversion mod. Yeah, that, that's how I'm uh, marketing <laughs> this to people. Um, 
yeah, I, I think it's so. I think it's a basis mm-hmm. for a great game, and I, I agree with you though. It could use a little bit more weird cards. Yeah, we're gonna do some tweaking. Yeah, that was just that was a beta playthrough. I mean, th- this has been my labor of love. Like I poured like three or four hours into this setup, like to getting all this yeah. shit made and ready to go. So this was like kind of the inaugural yeah. play session. Uh, I I think that is it's fun. Yeah. It was a little bit long the first time, just because, as you said, we mm-hmm. weren't following the rules to the letter. Yeah. And that kind of held messed it back. broke the whole game. Yeah, exactly. We got stuck in, mm. like, a uh, property war that yeah. really messed us up. So, anyway, go check that out if you're a backer, and if not, go back and check it out. Yeah, well, no, yeah. It, well, they can watch the shout-out video, though. That's free. Yeah, or go, yes, or go onto our channel and watch the, sh- the, the shout-out video so you can see that card game. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> I have a somewhat video game-related work story. Let me see whether I can think of anything better than this. I can't. Go ahead. <laughs> so we have uh, a lot of kids that come into the library that are super into Pokemon. Because every kid is into Pokemon ever, or always since, you know, 2000, or 1995. Okay. It's been like the thing. I'm so happy that I predate Pokemon. <laughs> I'm so happy that I predate The Simpsons. It's by like a couple of months. But I predate The Simpsons. Nobody cares. I'm so happy about that. I'm an old ass man. You're the only one who would care about that. I know. Um, anyway, so I was kind of looking through the library and I found... I was like pulling Pokemon books for like to make a display. Yeah. And I started finding... You remember those old Pokemon chapter books that like followed the anime story? Yeah. Like, I know the prehistoric Pokemon. It would be like a yeah, novelization yeah. of the episode. Yep. Okay. So we had, I started finding these books and I'm finding more and more. And I think I ended up finding like seven or eight of them. Mm-hmm. They were all over there. That series is written by four different authors. Whoever yeah. cataloged it at the time didn't put it in a series. Which all is they descri- separated it by author? Yeah, which is described as a, a three or more books by multiple authors. Anyway, so I find this. Is it worth noting at this point that you work in a library? I think everybody knows okay. by now. So anyway, so I find these books and I'm putting them all, I'm collecting them. I'm like, oh my God, we have like half of this series. Why isn't this cataloged right? Yeah. The kids couldn't find it. They've Some of those books, they've been in the library for like eight years and yeah. they have never circulated because how would a kid know to find that stupid skinny little book yeah. it's crammed in with all the other books in the chapter book section? So anyway, I saved the day. We recataloged all the Pokemon books and Pokemon Junior. Perfect. All these novelizations, and now the kids have access to their Pokemon. That's a, pretty, that's a pretty good work story. Yeah, so it is really to video games. Okay. <laughs> Pokemon was a video game first. Okay. So I think... Wait, wait, I have a better work story. Okay. Someone donated a whole thing of CDs, and like a bunch of them were burnt. So it was Sick. like Britney Spears. Hell and yeah. Stuff. And like now three... No, I I mean, like the compilation. Oh, okay. You know, they're like, on, like big, now, big juicy hits. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. But that's from like you gotta think they're in the twenties now. I think. Oh my god, I can't believe they're still making them. Yeah. Um. What else? Like Madonna, In Sync. Oh wow. Okay. So <laughs> I'm gonna move. Why? On. I'm gonna but move just on. Who here. Donates did, this did, stuff? Did, okay. Did you throw them out? No, they're still there. Uh, we're you... having a dance party. <laughs> okay, are you going to circulate them? Or... No, we're not going to circulate them. Okay, good. Well, I have a CD player in my car, and I need to relive the 90s. Okay, well, you can come and have any of them if you want. I do. You know what? Send me a picture the next time you go into work, and I want to see what there is. <laughs> they're just... exactly as bad as I described. Did Shania I... Twain. Then just bring them all home for me. <laughs> you know what? That don't impress me much. <laughs> <laughs> These boots are great for walking. I'm going to walk out the door. Was that Shania Twain? Yeah. I don't think it is. Well, who was it? Isn't that Dolly Parton? No. Okay, hold on. We need to Google solve this. Google break. <laughs> yeah, we need to We need to go and search this. Nancy, Nancy Sinatra. Sinatra? That's not the original. Who remade it, though? Hold on a second. Lee Hazelwood, recorded by Nancy Sinatra. Was yes, that, was the in original. 1966. Okay. Who re-released it? Okay, hold on, hold on. Jessica Simpson... What? No one. Oh no, can It must be Jessica Simpson. I'm thinking of that version. It must. That be. was really popular in the '90s. Yeah. Oh, how embarrassing! That's not really embarrassing. Jerry Halliwell put out a version. Who? Baby Spice. Oh. The best Spice Girl. I think that's Jerry Halliwell, right? Am I crazy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't... No, no, it's Ginger Spice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Baby Spice was the best Spice Girl, though. Baby Spice was the hottest Spice Girl. She's oh, yeah. the best one. Okay, guys, leave a comment. What is the who was the best Spice Girl? 
Hold on, I need to go Google Baby Spice now. <laughs> Why? I want to see what she looks like. She looks kind of trashy. <laughs> she all, no, she always looked kind of trashy. Um, I mean, there's no modern pictures of her. Now. Here you go, 24. Now. Okay, now. Okay, here, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Hmm. Yeah, okay, she aged well. Um, she did? That's your that's your depiction of aged well? That looks a bit better. Okay, let, let's get out of Spice okay. Girls talk. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. What is wrong with you? Okay, welcome to the Yakuza of Fan podcast. <laughs> Just started again. Okay, let, let's uh, let's move on. Let's mosey on into the. All right, do we have into, news? We do. We actually have a surprising amount of news, considering nothing's really happened. This week. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll start it off with uh, this happened yesterday. Yeah, Tuesday. The final piece of Yakuza Zero DLC is now out. Uh, if you go and update your game, you get uh, access to uh, two costumes, one for Majima, one for Kiryu. You can only get them if you have New Game Plus. No, if you're in Premium, premium Adventure. Premium Adventure, whatever it is. Yeah, and it's a... Uh, same thing. It's a costume swap. It's not the same thing at all. It's the same thing. Uh, so, it's, it's a Nobody costume cares. swap. You get to put on Majima's costume. As Kiryu. As Kiryu. And, Kiryu gets, and, and Majima gets to wear Kiryu's uh, real estate costume. Cool. Yeah, it's great. And then you also get like... Um, Extra parts for the pocket circuit, mm. so you can build like the. To that part, I care. The about. most kick-ass car. Ooh, super using, slim tires. Yeah, exactly. Godspeed like, gears. Those, those, those are crazy good items. Yeah. So go check that out if you want to get like kick-ass at the pocket circuit. Um, the Majima has the super rare crafting pack, which has a whole bunch of crafting materials yeah. to make some cool weapons that uh, now you don't need to grind for, which I appreciate. Yeah, I, I guess it's just kind of like, okay, you've had the game for a while here, let's ease off the grinding. Exactly. Uh, and again, I appreciate them rolling this out slowly. Like, th- every week it gives me something to look forward to in Yakuza yeah. 0, instead of just releasing them all at once. Uh, okay, well, but we're not, that, there's still one more piece of DLC that hasn't come out yet. Okay, now, let, let me... Break this down. There is a Walkman DLC that was in the Japanese version of the game. Yeah. Now, and with with that DLC, at any time you could, while you're walking around, you could just play music from a, um, I believe it was a karaoke album. Okay. It was like the, the like the, the really good go to Ku, the best karaoke or vocal tracks or something okay. like that. Okay, sounds like a CD we need. Go on. It does. So all copies of that CD... Uh, like the Japanese original print came with a code to put into your PlayStation 3 that would unlock that CD in game. Okay. Now, that CD has never officially been released in the West. So the entire feature was cut, and the only way to uh, get that in game would be to use that code from the CD. But I, oh, so you I can't... don't even know if it's being localized. Okay. Um, I did. I Like if it's been completely cut out or not, is what you're saying. I. Ask the question on Twitter. Mm-hmm. No one could give me a straight answer. If you have a copy of that CD and you have registered that code, load up the English version and let me know whether it just activates. Um, if you have uh, Ishin save data, mm-hmm. uh, you can unlock uh, goodies in... Right, uh, so it seems to cross Zero. over language-wise. Yeah, exactly. Like that, that's not typical. Like, if you have the Japanese version of Ishin, yeah. it unlocks bonus I think bonus that's a PS3 shit. thing versus PS2, though. I don't think so. I think it's just the way the save files are handled. That's what I'm saying. They're handled better on the PS4. I don't, no, no, I don't even think it's how it's handled. I think it's just a case of them... Like, I don't think it was intentional, though, is what I'm saying. I think that... No, because works. they're localized. Oh. If they want, like they, they okay, but I'm I I don't think that they have to. Other than localizing the text, I don't think they have to jump through any different hoops. Like the hooks are already there to pull the either language file. Maybe, but either way, if you've got a copy of that soundtrack, let me know in the comments whether it unlocks in uh, or Yakuza Zero. I'm sorry. I just something I've noticed with the PS4 is like sometimes if I'm playing Japanese games, my trophies will convert to Japanese for some reason. Not the Japanese game trophies, like other games. That are oh, really? both like, like my Miku trophies were listing in Japanese for some reason on my account. That's really weird. I was looking at it on the web, so I don't know why it was doing that. And then I'm pretty sure it's fixed now. So I think that the PS4 just handles language swaps hmm. differently. But why don't we ask John about this? <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess this is the best time to announce this. Uh, our pal and constant shout out person. <laughs> our pal. <laughs> <laughs> the, the finest PR man in the business, John Harden, is, left because he hates us. No, 
He, he is leaving Sega on Friday. This is his oh, final what? week. This kind of just came out of nowhere. He announced yesterday that this is his final week. How could at he Sega. do this to us? I am. I was honestly upset about this. Like he's been such a great guy to work with and to mm-hmm. like chat to. I mean, yes, he's still going to be approachable, but I mean, I really like the new guard at he's Sega. Got a, he's got a new job. Where, where's he going? I don't know. No one knows yet. I guess oh. we're going to find out on Friday. Yeah, well, I'll stalk him on LinkedIn again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, John, whatever you're doing, congratulations. I hope that whatever you... Yeah. Hopefully it's a good job. So I, I he's, as far one. as I know, he's still doing PR work. He's still working in the same city. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, just... But it, Sega can't pay great money. I disagree. I think Sega, like, like I said, the, the new guard at Sega since the Atlas mm-hmm. merge has just been so good. Yeah, but and, I, I'm just saying compared to working with like a big company, like not necessarily a big company, but a more high profit company. Maybe. Maybe the money is a lot better. Yeah, I'm not even going to speculate on why the job change happened. That's why like, I would change jobs if it was me. Because like, Sega would be my dream job. So that, so that's have to that's, that's my problem. A lot of money. That's my problem. Sega is my, like to work for Sega would be my dream job. I don't know what someone could offer me to work somewhere else, even if it was more money. Yeah, but if it was a lot more money, I look. You I, love things. I do love things. You could buy more Sega things. But one money. of those things is Sega. Like if I, I <laughs> yeah, but if it's enough to buy Sega, no. no. Okay. If someone came up to me and offered me a job, it's like if I was if I was working at Sega and someone came to me and said, "Hey, come work here," all I'd have to do is just look at a single picture of Sonic the Hedgehog and go, "No, no." <laughs> I, I I could not, but uh. I'm getting off topic here because this is... I don't want this to be about me. Just... John, I don't know if you listen to this. If you will ever listen to this. But thank you so you much. listen to this. Who, who, no one listens to this. Thank you so much for helping us out, you know, when we were expanding Yark as a fan, uh, providing us with review codes, and just being such a nice guy to work with and so approachable. I, I don't know. You just... I, I've never worked with a better PR person. Ever. Many PR people have you worked? A surprising with? amount. Okay, let me put it like this: most PR people won't give you the time of day if you're not part of like a larger site. I do agree with Small that. Small fan sites like ours barely ever get any attention. Yeah. And John was one of those guys who knew the importance of reaching out to the yeah. smaller community. Not just us, but everybody in the Yakuza <laughs> community. <coughs> well, can we move on to something that's a little happier? I wish you would. I'm dying over here. Yeah, you need to stop. <coughs> I'm getting all choked up. Stop <laughs> coughing. Okay, moving on. We helped write and provide the video for Did You Know Gaming's Region Locked uh, based on Yakuza Ishin. Um, you know, the, the creators of the show came to us and said, hey, we want to do a Yakuza-based video. Uh, do you have any interest? And I'm like, yeah, I have interest. Cal, you're looking at me like I don't have interest. No, I'm looking at you like you're lying. That's hey, what part am I lying about? The part where you actually emailed them and said, "Hey, you ever want no, to work no, no. together?" No, 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 not true, not true. I actually I emailed Did You Know Gaming's like creative director, and then uh, one of their other team members came to me separately. Yeah, the, the the creator of Region Locked, a, a team member that you may or may not have passed. Oh, whatever. With. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I, I I'm. I'm happy to do anything to help promote Yakuza, help promote us, mm-hmm. and to, you know, gush about Riga Go to Go Ishin because it is like one of the best games in the series and no one gets to play it and I'm mad. And to help us break 2,000 subs on YouTube. Like, that was awesome. I, I'm still watching subs roll in. It's been, it's been great. I had to put my, I had to turn my inbox into silent mode because every time I'd turn on my phone, it would just be buzzing constantly with new messages. <laughs> so. Why don't you just turn off notifications for every new subscriber? I could do that, but now that it's kind of died down a little bit, I like just seeing them roll in. <laughs> that is I, pathetic. It really is. It's my one happiness in life is just watching that subscriber number go up. Especially because all we're putting out on there right now is podcasts. Uh, so anyway, go watch that Region Locked episode. Yes, go check it out. That's on Did You Know Gaming. If- um, tweet me exactly all of your reactions to everything. Yeah, yeah, or you know what? I, I go into the comments of that every so mm-hmm. often and just uh, talk to people. Uh, th- there seems to be a lot of confusion from people who watch the video that think that the only reason we didn't get Ishin is because we got Dead Souls and it didn't sell. Right. We, but I mean, I, we say it in the video, but it's worth repeating. The We didn't just not get Ishin for that. Like Dead Souls came out and yes, it flopped. 
But then also Sega bought Atlas. Yeah. And they restructured their entire Western division. Um, Yas Noguchi, the lead localization producer, left Sega. Yeah, so there's a lot going on at once that really just all the everything was stacked against it. Yeah. Like it, it was just it was just a bad time for mm. everything. I would like to think that we'll get Ishin one day, but I'm not holding my breath. No, I don't think it'll ever come out in English. You know what? I said the same thing about Kiwami though. And we're going to be playing that yes, in a few but months. But Kiwami was announced in a reasonable time frame. Ishin's been out for a few years now. Yeah. It's it, it the would, statute of limitations has worn off. I, it would be really difficult to go back, especially to charge full price for it yeah. now. Like, and then it, they, they never recoup their costs. Yeah, I mean, it's notably worse um, than Zero. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so go check that out. Did you know gaming? Region locked. Yakuza Ishin. And yeah, let us know what you think. So, but, okay, you know we were talking about games that don't come out. And yes. It, we're pretty sure Yakuza 1 and 2 HD is never going to come out here, right? I doubt like, that it, is ever coming out. It doesn't seem like something that would. It is so, a PlayStation 3 game, port yeah. of a PlayStation 2 game. It exactly. is not coming. So, like, what do I do if I want to buy Yakuza 1 and 2? Because isn't 2, like, $200 everywhere? It was $200 everywhere. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard this, but Video Games Plus recently, and I don't know how they did this or what, Insane machine they found that is creating titles from the PlayStation 2 era. Please reprint Silent Hill 2. They found a way to order more copies of Yakuza 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 2. They also reordered new copies of Yakuza 3 and 4. I mean, those are a little bit more modern, so I can understand getting your hands on those. But the fact that they found... Someone to either make them... Yeah, the... uh... The, the, I don't even understand. How the, is this, this possible? The narrative I've understood is yeah. that they put in the request for copies and that the request was filled by the supplier. Yeah. I, that's just it. They, they, from, from what I understand, and I, I've been following Video Games Plus for a few years now. So. Yeah, they're based in Toronto. They're Canadian. Yeah, they, they, they get a lot of really weird stuff. Mm-hmm. Like they, I was telling you about this the other day. They had that the duck alarm clock from Metal Gear Solid 4. And the the frogs. Why don't I have from MGS? Because they're bloody expensive. I was going to order you one for your birthday, but Zero I ten. No, no, no. The the uh, Daco alarm clock. Oh, okay. But it was, oh god, it was insanely expensive. <laughs> it was like two hundred and fifty bucks. But I have for a sh- shitty plastic alarm clock. But how will I be woken up? <laughs> it doesn't matter because the only time that I'm willing to spend that much money on a Metal Gear thing at this point is Cyborg Ninja Playouts guy. Oh, we really need him. I thought I found one today for 150 and it was gone. I was so Where upset. Where did you see it? Um, Nin Nin Gaming. Okay. I think it like some, some weird Japanese import site. They had it listed. It was on sale. It was like 40% off. That were all gone. Oh, of course they I were. I was so upset. He's was, hard to find. Like, oh, he's... I was gone. Yeah, if you... Sorry, if you guys out there have a Cyborg Ninja that you're willing to part with for a reasonable price, get a hold of me. Or like, yeah, just mail it to us. I mean, we'll f- we'll give it a good home. It'll be amongst friends. The Cyborg Ninja <laughs> relocation program. <laughs> we will adopt him. <laughs> Keep him safe. Um. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting off topic. So, Video Games Plus put in a request to their distributor to get new copies of Yakuza One, Two, Three, and Four, and they're currently selling all the games individually and a four pack for like 150 Canadian dollars. Yeah, which is like two dollars US. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Yakuza 1 and 2, 2 especially, had such a small run that it's currently going for like 100 to 150 on eBay and Amazon. Mm-hmm. Now that these reprints are out, they're like 50 bucks. They're just selling them as new PS2 games. Right. Which, I can't believe this. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I sound yeah. like Dr. Robotnik just said, I can't believe this! <laughs> Go pick one up. If you have been snoozing <laughs> on a copy of Yakuza 1 and 2, please... Please, please, please go and pick them up. Encourage them to do more re-releases like this because I love it. Yeah, I, if I, they sell out the other companies like, you know, Silent Hill 2, Konami. No, Konami. Silent Hill 2. <laughs> yes, the, the company of Silent Hill 2. <laughs> Konami doesn't know anything. Never mind. Yeah. Forget I said Konami. We know they're idiots. Reasonable and intelligent companies will go, hmm, I, we could re-release games on the PS2 and people will buy it. I mean, it's a collector's market. There's no yeah. reason not to. I mean, really, like when that when it went up, I considered reordering a copy of uh, 
Yakuza 2 because I don't have a manual with mine. Right. So, I mean, it, it's awesome. I'm, I I would love to, but cha-ching. Um, i, I got to save up for Yakuza 7 whenever that comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm currently saving up for Neo. Hey, if you No, got, you're hey, not buying Neo. Hey, if, if, if Neo is too hard for you out there, let me know. I'll the, buy it. 40 the, bucks? No, no, no. Cal the, doesn't need no, to know. Just message no, me directly. You don't have time for Neo. Neo at yakuzafan.com. <laughs> don't worry, I'll get the... No, I won't, actually. That's not, <laughs> that's not a real address. Tweet me. Okay, if Neo is too hard for you, say, yakfan, at yakfan. Hey, I've got a Neo for you. <laughs> I hate you. Also mute Cal, so Cal doesn't see this. Okay, so... Yeah, you know yeah. that muting someone doesn't make it so they can't see your stuff, right? I don't, I don't know what it does. I mute people all the time on Twitter. It I, ma- yeah, it makes it, it makes so it they so just they, yell into the void. Yeah, it's so great. you don't see their stuff. And they it's just great. are tweeting you and you're like, ah, oh, my life is good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, go and pick up a copy of Yakuza 1 through 4. Yeah. Support this kind of stuff because I want to see more of it. I, I don't want Yakuza to ever go out of stock. And then go bug Sega and say, hey, Sega, why the hell isn't Yakuza 1 and 2 on PlayStation 4 backwards yeah, compatibility? That is so stupid. It's free money. Yeah. Every, the iron is so hot right now to get people's hands on Yakuza 1 Yeah, and 2. why don't they just put them up on the PSN? Yeah, but I don't even need the remastered versions. Just give me those upscaled... Yeah, P- oh. Like every other PS2 game. Yeah, uh, it, it boggles my mind why they haven't done that. Uh, I think that about wraps up for Yakuza News. So... Uh. Cal, what? do you remember last week we were talking no, about... No, I try and forget. Every week you forget, but every week I drag you back to hell. We were talking about our favorite games on every generation of console. Mm-hmm. I would like to continue that discussion where we left off. Last uh, time we spoke, we were okay. talking about the N64. Yes, that's a good system. Hey, I'm really mad about the N64 right now. Why? Because I was all excited to play it. I was gonna. I found my N sixty four games. I found Harvest Moon because it's before I bought Stardew Valley. Yeah. Um, I want to. You play. sent me out late at night to buy new cables. Oh, it wasn't late at night. Actually, it was. It was well, like you went. It was like nine you, o'clock. You decided to go. You went. On, you had an impulse. Right? Okay, it was on my way home, but still. <laughs> uh, um, to buy a new cable for the sixty four new video cable because mine was missing. Yeah. So I okay. Let, let me just paint a picture. It's nine o'clock at night. I run into the store. I buy new cables. For both the N64 and the Dreamcast so that I can go home and play them. I bring them home. We plug them in. Neither of the new cables work. And I'm at 20 bucks. Yeah, we actually went and we actually found the Dreamcast video cable after buying the new one and tested it out. And that worked, so it was clearly the cable's fault. I cannot believe that two out of two... I can understand if one of them didn't work, I was there faulty, are these whatever. Cheap China cables, though. But they looked really good. They say the word tested on the box. If they weren't tested, how could they print that? The cam- box was tested, not the cord. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. Uh, so. We gotta return those. I know. That's my plan for like Friday night. I'm gonna go and yell at them and get my money back because I am really mad about this. Uh, anyway, so we talked about. The N64, we gave our favorite games. I believe I said Banjo-Kazooie, followed by uh, Mystical Ninja. I don't remember what I said, but it was probably I amazing. Think, I think you said, like... Um, Harvest Moon 64? I think you said, I said Mario 64, maybe? No, I did not say Mario 64. You probably said Hybrid Heaven. No, I think I said... <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I think I said Majora's Mask. I think you did, actually. Uh, what's Hybrid Heaven? It's, like, one of the coolest games. It's, like, a... Uh, I want to say, like, a fighting RPG... It's really weird. No, I, wait, there wait, were so like, many good games on the N64. Like, Hybrid Heaven isn't a very good game. No. Well, I played a lot of good games on the N64. I played through Hybrid Heaven from like... I, I marathoned it, and I did what you did with Final Fantasy X. I did the whole thing. I did the whole conspiracy where like by the end of that game, you're fighting aliens and you don't know what's real. Yeah. I got to the very final boss, and I was like, eh, this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> My final I got so close. Is still sitting at the final I boss. I was so close. It's been like a decade. <laughs> yeah, like I, I played Hybrid Heaven like during the N64's heyday, and I just stopped. And I was Stop. like, "Yeah, this game sucks." I'm I used done. to rent a lot of 64 games. It used to cost five dollars and fourteen cents, I believe, to rent a game for a week. Yeah, um, I know that because we would scrounge every week for the stupid money, the change, and the couch cushions. The <laughs> amount of times that me and my brother rented Landstalker for the um. For the Mega Drive? Why didn't you just buy it? 
We could not find it anywhere. We found it after kind of uh, the Genesis was kind of done its run. And um, I don't... I mean, it must have been released in Australia, but the video store that we rented it from was like this weird, like really small chain. And um, it was a... an NTSC version, and when we rented, it would come with an NTSC adapter cartridge as well. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Oh, phew, wow, you don't know anything. No, uh, I don't. So, yeah, basically, you, you get that home. Why but, would I need that? I had an NTSC system. What if you want to play a PAL game? Why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't you want to do that? that was Why great. would I want to do that? You could play Wiz and Liz. What? You don't know anything about the Genesis. Anyway, Wiz and Liz was so good. I'm going to educate you about that later. No, I yeah. that doesn't sound good. No, Wiz and Liz was fantastic. Uh, anyway, so we would rent that all the time, and it was one of those cases where we would rent it, and we'd bring it home, and we'd play it as far as we could, and we'd always get, like, to... I remember there's this one puzzle where you've got to kill bubbles in a certain order. Yeah. Like slime. It's basically the slimes of the game. They're, they're bubbles. Yeah. And we would get there, and we'd get, like, totally stumped, and we're like, okay, we what are we doing here? Because the puzzle was based on, like, uh, American trivia. Okay. Which was really weird because it was obviously localized from a Japanese game. But but anyway, by that... There were search engines. Why didn't you ask Jeeves? I, I don't know. Um, anyway, so we would have to then return the game and then we'd go and rent, you know, go try and rent it again. But at that point, our save file had been deleted because uh, someone else had played it. And then the one time we're like, you know what? Why don't we just go and ask them to buy it? Like, it's, you know... It's the mid '90s now. No one's gonna care. Like, yeah. why, why don't we just go and ask them? So we, and it's been a long time since we've been to it because, like I said, it was a small video yeah. rental store. There was nothing. Like, it was just some shit movies and that one game that was good, and that was it. So, like, okay, why don't we go in there and ask them if we can buy it? Because they still, like, this, the store was still so small that you could rent Mega Drive games there. That's how the little local one in our town was. You could yeah. rent Dreamcast games for like ever. Yeah, they, they didn't do any kind of stock rotation. It's just it was in their library and they had it and it was there forever. Yeah. So we're like, okay. It's like the librarian like, where I work. So I'm like, okay, let, let's go check this out. Let's go, let's, let's go ask if we can just buy it. So I got my mom to drive us and we rocked up to the, where the store was. And we get out and it's just gone. It's just gone. It's closed down. Well, because you obviously didn't rent from there very often. Because it was all shit except for that one cool Yeah, but game. you stopped going. Like, how long was it that it was closed for? You didn't I, even notice. I don't even know. <laughs> like, we went to the better video store. <laughs> like, the one two... The, we, we drove to, the like, the one two towns away. Yeah, you killed local business. You single-handedly. No. They had a shitty selection, and it was on them to provide me with better entertainment. This is my problem with local businesses right here. And we get a lot of this because we live in small town. But everyone says, promote local business, promote local business. And then they gouge you. Yeah. And they're shitty. Yeah. Like, we were, I was playing Stardew Valley, and it's like, okay, I could go to the Joja Mart and pay less for my seeds. Or I could go to the small town and be like, oh, we just can't compete. Okay, fine. I go to the mom and pop shop. I get in there, and it's Wednesday, and it's closed. Why are you closed on a Wednesday? Yeah, I guess I'm going to the Joja Mart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's what small towns are like. Like, our local grocery store... Food is twice as expensive at as least, Walmart. At least. But, I mean, it's close. I don't have to deal with Walmart. So. Okay, yeah, but I'll pay a dollar more for milk, sure. But I'm not going to pay $7 for a pack of strawberries. Yeah. I just won't do that. Yeah. They're cheap at Costco. Exactly. Anyway, that's why the video store closed. Because small towns, they don't give a shit. They think that they could just act like small town stores forever. Yeah. And they refuse to accept that there's better stores 10 minute drive away. Yeah. You know, what, you know what's really weird? There's a video store still like around here. Where? The gas station in the next town. Yeah. The, the, the co-op. They yeah. rent movies. What? And games. They rent games? I believe games, yes. New ones? Yeah. But they only have like the latest. We should go look for the wrestling game there. We should. Let's go. We'll, we'll go have a look there and we'll let you guys know what we find. But yeah, like they only, they only. I did not even, I don't go in there because I pay at the pump when I gas usually, up. Usually I do too. Occasionally I'll have to go in like for whatever reason. But uh, yeah. Oh yeah. They, I, they, I went in there once to buy an e-cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> e-cigarette. <laughs> okay. So. I'm very cool. I'm trying to remember what the original point of this uh, tangent you was. You want to talk about Land Soccer. I don't know. Land Soccer is great. Oh. Follow up to this story. A few years later, we went to buy Landstalker. Like we finally we yeah. found a store that like had like the last copy. It must be the last copy in Australia. Yeah. Okay. And so <laughs> the last copy. Me and my brother, we 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 like brand new copy, shrink wrapped and everything. We bought it, got it home, opened it up, zero the Kamikaze Squirrel, the NTSC version. 
in a what? in a PAL Landstalker case. Wow. Yeah. Was it from a video store? Or no. This was new. This was brand new. So this was a it was issue the, at the distributor. It was one of the most disappointing things I've ever experienced. I, I've never heard of this happening before. Me, How I... How does this happen? Like, I can understand if it was a different PAL game, mm-hmm. but the fact that it was an NTSC game in a PAL cartridge, like in a Mega Drive cartridge... Oh, it was the actual game was inside the cartridge, not the case? No, sorry. I, I mean the game case. Like, the... the oh. The game itself was an NTSC game cartridge inside oh. of a PAL case. Okay, you just said that wrong. I know I said it wrong. Sorry. I'm trying to... You're an idiot. Yeah. I got yes, it. yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that, that's, very, that's more than fair, actually. <laughs> Anyways. So the, that, that was soul crushing. But you know what? Eventually eBay came around and I just bought it. So did you just end up returning the other copy? Like, what do you do at that I point? I to the collection. Really? You kept it? Yeah. We had an NTSC adapter at that point. Yeah, but why not just take it it's back to the It's Zero, street? the Kamikaze Squirrel. We didn't have that one. We did have an NTSC adapter, and now we have Zero, the Kamikaze Squirrel. That doesn't sound good. It's almost on the par on par with Arrow, the Acrobat. Like I, I don't know what that is either. You don't know what Arrow, the Acrobat is? No. Holy shit, we have some Genesis to play. I don't like playing old games. You need to play... Arrow the acrobat. I'm not going to. It's really good. He's a bat who's also an acrobat. Oh, this does sound familiar, actually. It's really good. Um, I would have taken the game back and asked Why? Them, because, like, who the fuck wants Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel? Me and my brother! You guys are idiots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been, like, I would have saved up my money and I didn't. Maybe it's because I grew up poorer than you. Because, like, my parents wouldn't buy me two games in the same year for the I Genesis. Think, I think we paid for that ourselves. Like, Even that, worse, if it was it. my own money, I had eh, so little money. It wasn't a big it deal. It took me forever to save up for Majora's Mask. Again, I would like to point out that I paid $129 for Aladdin on the Mega Drive. Yes, but I don't know why you always had so much money. Where did that, you get all your money? That was, like, my entire savings when yeah, I bought Yeah, but that. where did you get all this my, savings? I would get, like, five bucks a week just deposited into my bank account. That's a lot of money. For a kid. It is. And back then. It is, but I, I never spent it on anything. Like, I was just, I was banned from so, spending on it. So and how old were you when you bought this game? Um, I bought it, like, on release. Like I said, it was 129 It came, it just came out. Okay, so how old were you? I don't know. There's, look, there's an How do you not remember? Out. I just, I don't. When I was that age, I think my allowance was $2 a week, maybe, if I... 90, you bought 93? Yeah, no, this is... wouldn't have come okay, 93 so in Australia, though. Uh, I think you'd be surprised. It would have been PAL, so yeah, probably 1993. No, it probably came out like 94, 95. Everything came out late in Australia. Yeah, maybe. It's hard to say, but it was a virgin game. And they're... I don't know, I feel like they... So you at 8 years old spent all your money. Yes. Yes, exactly. I, I emptied that bank account. Yeah, my, my allowance at 8, I think, was like $2 a week. Yeah. But, uh, my parents were broke. I I think that was the second most disappointed I've ever been because I'm not a huge fan of that game. I even at that age I was like, oh, this is not my kind of game. This game sucks. Yeah, but like I bought it. And I didn't want to admit to my parents that I just wasted all of that money. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd sit there and I try and beat it. The Cave of Wonders level is cool. And then you have to ride the magic carpet, and it's not very cool no, anymore. No, it's not. <laughs> there are some interesting parts. It's better than the SNES version. Like, I would have been gutted if I would have bought the SNES yeah. version. The SNES one sucks. But, uh, I don't know. The, 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 when you jump on the camels and they spit, yeah. that's that's awesome. Give me more of that. But uh, <laughs> Could oh. you imagine our kids playing a game like this now? Like They would just walk away. They would just be like, nope. They don't give a shit. They play Minecraft. They have so many games at their disposal. It's not like when we were kids, we had like a couple games. Yeah. They have everything. They're so spoiled. Yeah. Okay, we we need to Sorry. get... It, oh, no, 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 it's okay. I'm just... I'm, I'm worried we need to get back on focus here. I want to go through PS1 through GameCube of our favorite games of this generation, okay? And okay. time's a ticking. We're getting towards the end of the show. Okay, PS1, Metal Gear Solid. Next. Th- that's it? This, this Metal Gear oh, I hate the PS1. PS1 really? sucks. PS1 yeah. has so It has many... the worst games on it. It does Final not. Final Fantasy VII. Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. Final Fantasy VII's good. Like, I, okay. It's not my favorite Final Fantasy by a long shot, but it's a good game. I like Dragon Warrior Seven. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't finish it. Yeah. Uh, I like Resident Evil. Uh, I say But that... only the one... Oh, the one that's on rails. 
What? The Resident Evil game that's on rails on the PS1. It's the only good I Resident Evil game. I don't know what one that is. Oh, Code Veronica, maybe? That's down on the Dreamcast, I believe. <sighs> I don't I don't know what you you're talking about. It's right there. You hit it. Okay. PS1 games that are cool. Resident Evil. The Mega Man. Uh, you don't the like Mega Resident Man Evil. I love Resident Evil. You don't Evil. like Mega Man. Just, I, I really like Mega Man. Well, Mega Man. Uh, the, you don't play Mega uh, that, Man. And this is my problem. I like, I love all these games. I love their their aesthetic and their gameplay. You've but, barely played but I Resident don't, Evil. But I don't play them. And that that's my biggest issue. I'm going to have to agree. Metal Gear Solid is hands down the best PlayStation 1 game. Um, Worms Armageddon is really good. I put that on the Dreamcast. Uh, Silent Hill, for what it was. Like, you can't even play. I cannot play. But that, that speaks to how good that game is. It's so scary that I still have panic attacks trying to play it now. So, but I mean, Metal, Metal Gear Solid is hands down the best one. I mean, there, there is no comparison for how good that game is. I will say though, uh, second favorite game, Bushido Blade 2. That game is fucking awesome. And I've been seeing a lot of people say that For Honor is the return of Bushido Blade. No, 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 no. For Honor is not even close to Bushido Blade. It is so floaty and weird. It's a cool system. I really like the kind of almost rock, paper, scissors mechanic it's got. You're wrong. Resident Evil Survivor came out of PS1 and Windows. You said Code Veronica. Oh, did I? Yes. And Survivor. (laughs) What are you doing? Sleeping. Sleeping. What I wish I was doing. I'm imagining. Anyway, that's that's an awesome Resident Evil game because... I've never played that one. It's a light gun game, but Mm. I played it without the light gun. I just played it with the stick. But it's, you know, Resident Evil, how it's spooky and you have to, like, stalk around yeah. and do all these, like, ah, I'm gonna have to, like, actually fight this zombie. Yeah. You just shoot. Perfect. So it's, it's like, really fun. Um, it's like Resident Evil, they took all the scary stuff out. I can dig that. Um, I will say, I think my most played game on the PlayStation 1, the one that I, I, I know, like, I said, uh, Metal Gear and Bushido Blade, they're my two favorites. Like, yeah. th- those, it doesn't get any better than that. The game that I have put the most amount of time into, for whatever reason, is LSD the Dream Emulator. You've not put them... Uh, no, I have put an insane amount of time into uh, that game. I don't like that game. Hours and hours, like days worth of time into that game trying to just see what there is to see in it. Like, it is the, one of those games that I just keep coming back to. Like, I've got it emulated on my PSP and I just bring it up every so often just to see, like, just, just to see what else I can find. I'm, I don't like it. It's... Weird and surreal. I like games to have a point. This is the one game that doesn't have a point that I can get behind. Because it's just so weird. Like, the the weirdness... The, the more you crank up the weirdness in a game, the more I'm going to check it out and enjoy it. Like, it, it, it... Weirdness for the sake of weirdness is a really good hook for me, I think. Which is funny, because you hate also random and people being intentionally weird. Uh... I don't. I just like lol so random, but I don't mind intentionally weird as long as it's not cringy weird. Mm. Like I like it to be surreal weird. Hey, you want to hear another cringy weird story from work? I was gonna say you want to hear something weird and cringy. Just rewind it back to our uh, <laughs> our earlier topic. <laughs> Go ahead. So this woman, and I'm not gonna say her name for privacy. We'll call her Dorothy Daniels. No. Uh, okay, she. I'm gonna tell you, she. <laughs> she is a, an artist. She is our artist of the month. Yeah. She has this drawing of a centaur that all the kids point out and are like, "Wow, that's a horse man." Horse man. So funny. But anyway, um, so she she's, uh, she also you know visits the library pretty often. Her kids are involved in stuff. You know, she's a nice lady. Anyway, she comes into work today and she wants a book on Indian gods. Because she had a dream okay. where she, there was this person or this deity or this figure in her dream, okay. and, and she it, uh, she calls her friend who she brags about constantly that translates Sanskrit and Japanese into Japanese and then into English or some shit. Cool. Um, like it is cool, and but she's mentioned it a few times. Anyway, so she calls this friend up who knows all this this stuff, yeah. and um, friend says it sounds like this indian god so then oh wow we she wants this book and then she ends up using the computer prints out you know i got to see the picture of who she's talking about and then she's telling me about how it's it's weird because was it prince rama no was it vishnu it was a blue guy 
I believe... I don't know anything. Don't ask me questions. I think that... Hold on a second. I believe it was the blue keep, guy. Yeah, can you keep talking? So anyway, she's telling me, like, it's the um, the god of plants and growing. Yeah. It's not Rama. I know Rama. That's the only one I know because we have a book, Rama and the Demon King. That's a good book. Um. Anyway... So she's telling me that's so weird that it's the god of the plants. It's Vishnu. Grow. It is. Okay. It was Vishnu. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. High five for me. Is that who it is? The god of uh, Vishnu. But is that the one of plants? Um, I don't know. Uh, well, it was one of plants anyway. And she's telling me like, oh, that's so weird because I teach people to play classical music to their plants to make them grow bigger. Okay. And anyway, so this, and the reason why I'm bringing it up in this whole, like, weird for the sake of being weird, too, is, like, she's also the person who's doing, like, guided meditation and stuff like that. It's okay. like... That's fine. Okay. What's wrong with I that? just... I don't subscribe to this whole... I, I'm... Ideology? I'm, I'm completely atheist. Uh, yeah, I understand. I, I am so atheist, it's not even funny. If you guys want to see, like, the coolest gods, go and Google the Indian gods. Oh, they are totally sick. They're the raddest. Like, look look at this guy, look at Kali. That's Kali. Go go and Google Kali Indian god. He's got, like, ten arms and, like, has a belt of human skulls. Yeah. Amazing. They are amazing. But, I... I honestly got the impression that she believed that this was some kind of message in her dream. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> was... you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say either way whether it was or wasn't. It probably was. <laughs> yeah, prob- I'm just trying to keep this, this straight. Weird... Okay, we, we. I had a point. It was, it, but I forget because you distracted me. Oh please, don't you blame me? You w- waffled on and on about this. Okay, so you you said something and then I segued. There was a it was really you had a story had about the library. We we're talking about best yes. PS one games, weird games such as uh, LSD the Dream and Emulator. You had said something specifically. The sorry. weirder it is, the cooler it is. No, that wasn't it. You're not cool. Am I weird? Yes. Oh, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, rewind. Yeah, yeah, rewind. Yeah, and yeah, listen- yeah, you keep coming back to me. Doesn't matter. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Uh, rewind and listen to what he said last, and then we'll get the whatever the point I was trying to make with that. Yeah, rewind. Just hit that back button, and uh, you'll find out. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on for the PlayStation 1. I seriously want to kill myself for it today. That was just something I listened That's hilarious. That That is so interesting to me. That sounds like a story I would like to listen to. That, that, that's a total me. <laughs> let, let me listen to your weird bullshit with a big grin on my face because I love that I, kind of stuff. It's just if, the people that I mean. No, if you are out there and you think you've seen a god in your dreams, tell me about it. <laughs> I want to know. Not, 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 I, don't, I don't want like Christian god. I want any other one. Like yeah. what, any of the weird ones, even Satan. If you've seen Satan in your dreams, let me know in the comments below. Um, I see you. It's as close as I need. Oh, uh, you see me in your dreams? No, you. I don't dream. <laughs> I, I wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> but I seriously, I don't dream. Okay. Well, I actually had a dream. Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's move on. So Sega Saturn, favorite game. Saturn sucked. Next, Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones has an amazing soundtrack. Fucking awful gameplay. Mr. Bones has the worst gameplay. But he's heavier than Stones. I know, and the soundtrack is amazing. <laughs> Any vocal track from Mr. Bones is great. Um, uh, especially I, I Icy Lake. I played enough of the Sega Saturn. Like, I really didn't. Okay. Um, Knights, Sonic R, Sonic 3D Blast. But yeah, but Sonic 3D Blast I played on the Sega CD. So. Um, what's the, the, the Panzer Dragoon order? Uh, no, Pan, not Panzer order. Dragoon. I think it might just be called Panzer it's Dragoon. Panzer Dragoon is okay. original. That is the best one. I did play that. That one is pretty that, good. That is hands down the best game on the system. It's yeah. an RP, It's a Panzer Dragoon RPG. Yeah. Amazing story. The first one. Amazing it, setting. It's not the a, only it's one. It's the... The only one. That Panzer the first Dragoon Panzer, Panzer Dragoon game. Yeah. Is what it is. I don't think it is. I'm pretty I, sure it I was. Don't, I don't think it's the very first one. I disagree with you. I'm pretty sure everywhere else it's a shmup. Anyway, so yeah, Panzer Dragoon for me for the satin. Um, I hear Symphony of the Night might be a little bit better on Saturn, just because uh, the Saturn does 2D graphics a little bit better. But uh, yeah, for me, the the best thing on the Saturn I'm is... I'm pretty sure the one on the Saturn was an Unreal Shooter too, was wasn't it? The one we're talking about? Yeah. No, it's an RPG. Oh. There, there is also a uh, shooter, which, oh. yeah, like I said, I, I don't think the RPG is the very first one in the series. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, I think that's basically it for Saturn for me. I, I, I did some Googling earlier to see if there's anything else worth mentioning. Um, the song in like the supersonic racing was the best thing to come out of the Saturn. It's called Panzer Dragon Saga. That's the one. Okay, so yeah, check that one out. If you're yeah. off, if you're in the mood for a good uh, Sega Saturn game, Panzer Dragoon Saga. Yeah, but I think I played the original, the other Panzer Dragoon one. I'm pretty sure we played both. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's move but on. But it's a rail shoot. It's a role playing rail shooter, isn't it? I don't remember. Uh, we're moving on now. Okay. 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 okay we're moving right into the Sega Dreamcast. Now I played the fifth. Why? Because it's all good. I, if I recall. The Dreamcast has the highest amount of plus, like, uh, of, I think it's nine and above games. Like, Where is citation needed? Um, I think it's according to, like, the IGN scale at the time and, like, all the, the magazines. I just, I remember reading that fact somewhere that if you were to compare the scores for all of the games that came out around that time. It sounds believable, but. Based on the amount of games that were released i think there was only like 500 dreamcast games released yeah, and, it was a very small library. and yeah but most of them were over an eight or a nine uh, citation unit that's fine but like they're all really good they are i don't know what my favorite game is though yeah i can tell you some of my favorites like i love sonic adventure of course yeah i, uh, I could take it or leave it honestly well you suck um i really like the sort of berserk game <laughs> That one's up there for me. Guts' is Rage. Yeah. Oh, man. That game is so good. It is a really that good game. That game needs a re-release. It is a fun game. Yeah. Oh, wow. What a... That, that's a yeah, good answer. We actually own that game. Yeah. Uh, Toy Commander is terrible, but I love it. Um, yeah. Shenmue. You, Shenmue. Of course. I don't really care for it, but I, Shenmue, I know other people do. Shenmue is up there for one of my favorite games on the system. Um, Samba de Amigo. Samba de Amigo is also up there. Typing like, of the Dead. Don't really care for that. I think it's better on the PC. Except, except in one very key thing. They wear the Dreamcast. They wear Dreamcast on their back. And they have the keyboards in front of them. Yeah. Um, um, for me, it's Shenmue all the way. Shenmue is the pinnacle of what the Dreamcast had to offer. It's got every single genre represented within it. It's my first introduction to that style of game. Yeah. Because it was completely unique at the time. Like the the, the live weather system... That was pulled from weather data of the 80s. Like, they went and looked at what the weather patterns were for that time of year. And every day matches up to what the weather was like in that province at that time of day during that, that year. Cool. That game does so much weird shit. Yeah, that people don't even know about. Yeah. Like, I, I was watching some guy stream it the other day. And it's like, the the big thing to do is to get all the um the capsule toys. Yeah. I remember doing that. I love these things. I don't remember how involved it was. Like, there are some capsule toys you can, like, like, only get if you win certain, like, weird raffle prizes and shit like that. Like, I, I got them all. And I you forgot. sure you got them all? I'm positive. Like, I can, I still have my VMU here. We can load up a PAL version and look at the uh, Shinmu Passport. And you can see I've got them all. Okay. Uh, I played a lot of Dreamcast. Like, I would say the Dreamcast. I Soul Calibur. Uh, Sorry, yeah, just... I, I like Power Stone. Power Stone! Uh, yeah, Better on the yelling. PSP. You're yelling. I can't help it. The Dreamcast gets me so... I really like Ready to up. Rumble Boxing. So. Jet, jet Grind Radio. Jet Set Radio. Yeah. Jet Set Radio! I, I okay. don't like that one as much. I love Jet Set Radio. We have very different tastes in Dreamcast games. Um, for, I remember opening up Soul Calibur and just playing that like all Christmas morning. Like, the the Dreamcast was bought for all of the kids, and mm. I remember just hogging the thing for the whole time, playing Soul Calibur. And that game holds up. That game is so good. You play as Killick, you play mm -hmm. as Yoshimitsu, and oh. I didn't play Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast. I played it in the arcade a little bit, and then I played it on the GameCube a lot. Soul Calibur for the GameCube. Is, Soul Calibur, is that two or three? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. It's re I think it's two. It's really strong on the GameCube, especially because that has Link in it. See that, uh, but I used I to always play, hated that uh, as um, the girl with the fans. Sophia? No. Not Ivy. No, not Ivy. What was her name? Uh, Melina. Anyway. What? Melina. Uh, is no, it? wait, no, she has size. Yeah. She's also in Mortal Kombat. Oh, I don't know. I don't play fighting games. Jade. <laughs> Kitana. Okay, okay, um, Katana. Katana's from uh, Marvel. It's Sophia and Cassandra. Taki or Talum, one of those ones. Taki? 
Yeah. I don't remember. Anyway, so I... Um, Come on, look this up. So there's Sophia. I think it's... Maybe it was Talim. I don't know. With the kunai? I don't know. Anyway, this I Cassandra, thought there was a girl with fans. I played as Cassandra. Cassandra was great. I played as a girl with two weapons, and I was unstoppable at this game. Like, all my friends had it, yeah, and I was the only one who didn't actually have the game. But that sucked. I would go over to their houses, and they would be like, okay, let's play games. Let's play Soul Calibur, because it's one that we could fight, right, and play yeah. against each other. Yeah. And I would always win. And it would piss them off, because I was so good at the stupid game. Yeah. And none of them could beat me, and they, n- I was the only one who didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing against my brother, and he would always pick Killick. That was his favorite character. Yeah, I like Killick as well. Kill- Killick was strong. Killick was like my favorite character for a while. Yeah. Until I unlocked Yoshimitsu. Yeah, Yoshimitsu. When great he as does well. that sword pogo stick move. Yeah. And destroys that thing is so strong. The fact that it can knock people out, like just out, out of the ring, they just gone. It's super strong. Uh, Yoshimitsu is great. Um, yeah, I I can play as most characters. Like I think I ended up borrowing it or something and finishing the whole game, like the actual. Yeah, game. but this is Soul Calibur too. But still, it's the same basic game. I mean, it's it's a little bit better than the first one in the sense that it's been up, you know, the quality's improved and all that. Yeah, but I did play a lot of Soul Calibur. We had an arcade machine, um, next to, in the little, not even gas station, it was like a corner store next to the movie theater, and it had one arcade game in it, and that was Soul Calibur. <laughs> so I would go in there sometimes <laughs> and play it. That's sick. I don't think I've ever seen a Soul Calibur machine. I was just over here googling Soul Calibur on the PSN. I was hoping they might have like released an HD version. Soul Calibur. I spilled it right the first time. I didn't find anything, so I was worried I spilled it wrong. No. So I went back and redid it. Anyway, so the Dreamcast has so many great games. I love it. Oh man, I'm, I need to play Shenmue. I need to. Like, it's, yeah. I can feel it in my bones. I have no desire to play it. I oh, want to go play more Stardew Valley. Shenmue is so good. Um, but, it's so good. All right, oh. you want to get through these other two consoles? Or? Yeah. Okay, let, let, let's do this. PlayStation 2. Uh, what is your favorite game on the PS2? That's too hard. I Can we come back to this next week? Really? I have no clue. I need to look at all my it's PS2 Snake games. It's Snake Eater. The, the, answer, the correct answer is Snake Eater. Oh, I do love Snake Eater. <laughs> but I also like Katamari Damacy. Oh, Katamari. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe we will come yeah, back to Yeah, exactly. Okay, our homework for this week is to look at what I can't games narrow it down to one. are on the PlayStation 2, and we will pick our favorites. No, I can't. We have I to. I can't choose just one. I want them all. Basically, like, every game I own on the PS2 is my favorite. Oh, man, there's so... I'm looking over at our collection right now. I have a great collection of PS2 games. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Um, I mean, Yakuza's is on there. Yeah. But I, which one? None of them... It's... Are they better than Shadow of the Colossus or Issa? Oh, they're not! Exactly! So you can't just... We, we should okay. just skip... No, we're not... No, we're going to come back to this next week. We're going to look at what PlayStation 2 games there are. We're going to get our list of what our favorites are. And then we're going to have to kill them until we get down to one each. No, that's not possible. That's what we're doing. I'm not doing this. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening. If you made it this far, congratulations. You made uh, nothing. Go, uh, we should hopefully later this week have, a co- have our next Forge in the Dragon up. Uh, go check out those Backer Thanks videos. And uh, if you like what you heard, head over to patreon.com slash yakuzafan. Toss us a couple of bucks. And uh, that helps keep the lights on around here. So thank you guys so much for listening. And we'll talk to you next week. Say goodbye, Cal. Goodbye, Cal. Goodbye.